This is not a good time for Canada to lose its governor general. We have a minority parliament. An election is possible, even likely this spring, which could well lead to another minority parliament. While the role of the governor general is largely ceremonial, their one truly important task is to act as referee when the succession of government is disputed. We saw that in 2008, when Mikhail Jean agreed to accept Stephen Harper's request to prorogue parliament after expressing her displeasure by making the prime minister wait two hours while she made up her mind. So the timing of Julie Payette's resignation, which could leave Canada without a governor general after the next election, is awkward. But that resignation was also necessary, which tells us a lot about how the nature of the workplace has changed. Liz Payette stepped down after an internal investigation reportedly revealed that she and the secretary she brought with her, the Santo de Lorenzo, had been abusive toward employees at Rideau Hall. There were reports that she had also been difficult to work with in previous positions. This was a serious indictment of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. He bypassed the advisory panel that Mr. Harper had created to vet nominations because Ms. Payette, a former astronaut, looked so good on paper. Bad call. But her resignation might also say something about changing attitudes in the workplace. There was a time when strong, authoritarian, even abusive leadership was seen as an alpha male, and they were almost always males, asserting dominance in the workplace. When allegations of a toxic work environment first surfaced, I wondered whether Ms. Payette was simply being discriminated as a woman for a leadership style that would have been tolerated, even applauded, if she were a man. But apparently not. The environment that Ms. Payette and her secretary created was allegedly intolerable. She had to go. But even though the timing is bad, Mr. Trudeau needs to take his time finding a replacement for Ms. Payette. Let's revive that advisory committee. The Chief Justice of the Supreme Court can fill in for now. To restore trust in the office of the Governor General, we absolutely need to get the next appointment right. And managers and executives everywhere take note. Not only does browbeating, berating, and intimidating your employees not lead to an improved work environment, it can get you fired. 